Jack Carson, a name synonymous with the golden era of film, carved a niche for himself with his unique blend of charm and talent. From humble beginnings to becoming a sought-after actor, Jack's journey is a testament to his dedication to the craft of acting. His performances, marked by a natural flair and an everyman appeal, won the hearts of audiences and critics alike. With roles that ranged from the lighthearted to the dramatic, he showcased a breadth of skills that made him a reliable and beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Jack's legacy is built on a foundation of memorable characters that continue to delight fans and inspire aspiring actors. Jack Carson was a well-known actor in the mid-20th century, famous for his roles in both comedies and dramas. His ability to bring characters to life on screen made him a favorite among audiences. Now we'd like to hear from you. Which of Jack Carson's roles is your favorite? What do you think made him unique compared to other actors of his time? Share your most memorable moment related to Jack Carson with us. We're eager to read your stories and memories in the comments. Stay tuned, as we have many interesting facts about Jack Carson to share, including some that are funny, surprising, and even a bit sad. Keep watching to learn more about this beloved actor. Jack Carson was born into a family with a love for entertainment, which shaped his early life. His parents encouraged his interest in performing, and he often participated in school plays and local theater productions. This early exposure to acting sparked his passion for the craft. As a young man, he found inspiration in the works of established actors of the time, which motivated him to pursue a career in Hollywood. His determination led him to seek opportunities in film and radio, where he honed his skills and developed his distinctive style. Key figures in the industry recognized his talent and provided him with guidance, helping him navigate the challenges of the acting world. These experiences laid the foundation for his successful career in entertainment. Jack Carson was a well-known actor in the mid-20th century, celebrated for his roles in many films during the golden age of Hollywood. He stood out for his ability to bring laughter and warmth to his characters, making him a favorite among audiences. His performances in comedies and dramas showed his skill in acting, and he became known for his roles in movies like Mildred Pierce and Arsenic and Old Lace. His work left a lasting impression on the film industry, and he is remembered for his talent in bringing characters to life on the big screen. Jack Carson, known for his work in film and radio, found his passion for acting during his high school years. It was during a school play that Jack first felt the thrill of performance. He played a small part, but the applause he received was a turning point. This experience sparked his interest in acting as he enjoyed making people laugh and the immediate connection with the audience. His natural talent for comedy was evident even then. This early taste of acting led him to pursue a career in entertainment where he could share his gift of bringing joy to others. Jack's journey began with that one role, which set him on the path to becoming a beloved actor. Jack Carson's life was marked by both bright and challenging moments. He passed away on the same day as fellow actor Dick Powell, both succumbing to different types of cancer. His personal life included a brief romance with Doris Day during the filming of her first movies. Despite the age difference, with him being 38 and her 26, their relationship ended, largely due to his excessive drinking. Before his Hollywood fame, Jack Carson's journey in entertainment began in vaudeville where he met Betty Alice Lindy. They married in 1938 after performing together, but parted ways just a year later. These experiences shaped his life both on and off the screen. Jack Carson faced tough times when he started his acting career. Money was tight, and people in the movie business did not believe he could make it as an actor. But Jack did not give up. He kept trying, even when it was hard. He found smart ways to show his talent to the world. Jack took small roles and made them shine. He worked in radio to get more people to know him. His hard work paid off, and he became a well-known actor. His story shows that with hard work and smart thinking, you can overcome big challenges. Jack Carson took on diverse roles throughout his acting career. In Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, he played Gooper Pollitt, an interesting choice considering Burl Ives, who played his father, was nearly the same age as him. His film journey began with an uncredited role as an attendant in the first gas station in You Only Live Once. His performance as O'Hara in Arsenic and Old Lace was quite the subject of talk. The director, Frank Capra, encouraged exaggerated comedy, which didn't quite agree with Cary Grant, leading to mixed reviews. Some thought Carson's performance was too much, 
while others found it fitting for the film style. Grant himself had mixed feelings, but acknowledged Capra's influence on his comedic approach. Jack Carson, known for his comedic and dramatic roles, saw his career soar with the film Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. His portrayal of Gooper Pollock brought him praise and showed his range as an actor. His peers noted his ability to bring authenticity to his characters, making them relatable and real. Critics appreciated his timing and delivery, which added depth to his performances. Collaborators often mentioned his dedication and the positive atmosphere he created on set. These qualities made him a respected figure in the acting community and helped him secure more significant roles. His work not only entertained, but also touched the hearts of many, leaving a lasting impression on the film industry. Jack Carson's life had its share of personal challenges and unexpected turns. His fourth marriage was to Sandra Jolly, who had previously been married to actor Forrest Tucker. Tragedy struck when his daughter Germaine Catherine Carson, from his marriage with Kay St. Germain Wells, passed away due to cancer. A mix-up in his will led to her legally adopting the name Catherine Germain Carson. In a twist of fate, while preparing for his role in Critics' Choice, Jack collapsed, initially thought to be a stomach disorder. Sadly, it was later revealed to be cancer during a separate medical procedure. Jack Carson, known for his acting, approaches his craft with a focus on authenticity. He dives deep into understanding the characters he portrays, often drawing from his own life to bring truth to his performances. His style is defined by his ability to make each character relatable, reflecting his belief that everyone has a story worth telling. This approach makes his performances feel real and accessible, allowing audiences to see parts of themselves in his characters. His work mirrors his view that art should reflect life with all its joys and challenges. Carson's dedication to his roles is seen in the careful attention he gives to every aspect of his performance, ensuring that each character he brings to life is fully realized and memorable. Jack Carson's life off-screen was as interesting as his on-screen roles. Known for playing Peter Virgil in Romance on the High Seas, he worked alongside Doris Day, leading to a short-lived romance between the two. Away from the camera, Carson had a secret life that even Hollywood didn't know about. In the 1940s, he would often vanish, leaving only his wife privy to his whereabouts. It was later revealed that he spent this time as a clown with the Clyde Beatty Circus, entertaining crowds who were unaware of his true identity. His love for performance shone through, with audiences appreciating his acts without ever recognizing him. His story is documented in the book, Who's Who in Comedy by Ronald L. Smith, highlighting a side of Carson that many never saw. Jack Carson was a well-known actor in the mid-20th century, recognized for his roles in comedies and dramas. He had a natural talent for making people laugh and also for touching their hearts in more serious roles. His acting style helped shape the way stories were told in films during his time. He was known for his ability to play both leading and supporting roles with ease. Many actors who came after him have mentioned Jack as an inspiration for their own careers. They admired his skill at bringing characters to life and making them feel real. Industry experts often speak of his work with respect, noting how he could switch from light-hearted parts to more serious ones without missing a beat. This showed his range as an actor and influenced others to develop a similar flexibility in their own acting. Jack Carson's career had moments that were as surprising as they were successful. When Doris Day first got to Hollywood, Jack Carson called her to offer a role in Romance on the High Seas. She hung up, thinking it was a joke, only to find him at her door later, repeating his offer. In Mildred Pierce, Carson played Wally Fay and was in the running to play Monet as well. His partnership with Dennis Morgan was notable, with the duo appearing in 11 films together over seven years, showcasing their dynamic chemistry and shared screen presence. Their movies ranged from musicals like Shine on Harvest Moon to comedies like Two Guys from Texas, reflecting the breadth of their talent. Jack Carson was known for his warm heart and generosity. Away from the camera, he dedicated time to support young actors and volunteered at local theaters. His love for the arts was clear, as he often attended plays and encouraged new talent. Carson also cared deeply for animals and was involved in several animal welfare organizations, helping to raise awareness and funds for animal rights. His personal interests, like his love for golf and passion for music, often intersected with his charity work, leading him to host fundraising events. Jack Carson's life outside his acting career was filled with acts of kindness 
and support for both people and animals reflecting his belief in giving back to the community that supported him. Jack Carson's talent was recognized with two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, a rare honor for any actor. His work in radio and television earned him these accolades. Located at 6361 Hollywood Boulevard and 18560 Vine Street, in Romance on the High Seas, he played Peter Virgil, marking the first of three on-screen pairings with Doris Day. These films, produced from 1948 to 1949, were not only Day's first, but also coincided with the time she and Carson were in a relationship. His role as Wally Fay and Mildred Pierce showcased classic cars of the era, like his character's 1941 Buick Convertible, highlighting the luxury of the time before car production ceased during World War II. Jack Carson was a well-known actor who worked hard and connected with his audience. He showed that being true to oneself and working hard are key to success in acting. His advice to new actors is to stay dedicated, learn constantly, and be patient. Acting is not just about being famous, it's about telling stories that move people. He plans to keep acting and teaching, sharing his knowledge with the next generation. Jack Carson, a familiar face in the film industry, was rumored to have a small part in Follow the Fleet, although this claim was never confirmed. In his personal life, he was the stepfather to Brooke Tucker. On screen, Carson shared the spotlight with Ginger Rogers in six films produced by RKO Pictures. Despite the recurring theme of losing Rogers to her main co-stars in these films, Carson finally paired up with her successfully in The Groom Wore Spurs in 1951, where his character ended up with hers. Jack Carson's journey in the entertainment industry was marked by his deep love for acting and constant drive to innovate. His work brought new ideas to the screen and inspired many. He showed that with creativity and hard work, one can leave a lasting mark. His story reminds us that no matter the challenge, pushing forward with creativity and determination can lead to great achievements. Jack Carson's career in film and music showcased his talent across different platforms. He appeared in four films that were nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, showing his ability to take on roles in significant movies. His voice was not just for acting, he recorded an album of favorite college songs, sharing his musical side with the world. On radio, he was the voice people loved to hear, hosting a show that ran successfully for four years. His work reached audiences in theaters, through their radios, and in their homes with his recordings. Jack Carson's life was rooted in family and the arts. Born as the younger son to Edward L. Carson, he grew up alongside his elder brother Robert Carson, who also pursued acting. Their childhood unfolded in Milwaukee, although their birthplace was Canada. Jack's family connections extended into the entertainment industry through his nephew Kit Carson and grandson Seth D. Webster. His personal life saw him married four times, with his last wife being Sandra Jolly, previously married to actor Forrest Tucker. Carson's career had notable highlights, including his role as Matt Libby in the classic film A Star Is Born. His performance was part of a grand premiere at the Panages Theater in Los Angeles, attended by a host of stars and industry leaders. Beyond acting, Carson had a keen interest in religion, which led him to start writing a book on the subject before his passing. His life and work remain a testament to his dedication to his craft and his interests outside of it. Jack Carson, despite his passion for flying, faced rejection from the U.S. Army Air Corps because he was too tall and had flat feet. However, his dedication to support the war effort did not wane. During World War II, he brought laughter and morale to the soldiers in the South Pacific, performing for the troops under General Douglas MacArthur. His efforts provided much needed entertainment and a sense of home to those serving far away. Jack Carson, known for his roles in many Hollywood classics, faced a personal tragedy that was as dramatic as any film. Despite his success on screen, Carson's life was touched by sadness when his first wife, actress Kay St. Germain Wells, passed away at a young age. This loss deeply affected Carson, who had to balance the demands of his career with the challenges of personal grief. Jack Carson has been a familiar face in the world of acting, bringing many characters to life on screen. His performances have left a lasting impression on audiences of all ages. We invite you to share your favorite moments and roles of Jack Carson in the comments. Your thoughts are valuable as we remember his work and the joy it has brought to so many. If you enjoy content that celebrates actors like Jack Carson and the influence they have on entertainment, please like, share, and subscribe for more. 
Your support helps us continue to highlight the artists who entertain and inspire us.